just wanted to showcase the Dark World list I've been playing. Um, shout out to the homie who recommended this deck for me to play. I've been playing it. I uh, had a couple of videos out that I got to make. A couple of them didn't film. GoPro overheated, stuff like that, et cetera, et cetera. But without any further ado, really appreciate this this deck, actually. It, it, <laughs> it's not easy to play. I can tell you that. But uh, I had fun playing it. Might keep playing in the future. I don't know yet. Just like a weekly rotation. Let's get right into it. So first we play um, Three Rainbow. Uh, <clears throat> thank God for those cards. These cards are, even though they're, they're, they're new cards for old school deck, but they kept the whole not once per turn thing. So essentially, uh, if this card is discarded, by, not by cost, by card effect, uh, you can search for a little five heart dark world. If it so happens to get discarded by your opponent, you can do that plus summon a dark world from the deck to either field. But yeah. And then uh, it also uh, has a like a summoning mechanic where you can bounce a level seven or lower dark world to hand and summon it. It's also an eight. And 3k body too, so you can essentially kill people really quickly with the card. And the next, just two OG, OG Graphos. If you don't know this, this is a this bounces any Dark World to summon itself from grave. If it's discarded, it pops a card on the field. If it's discarded from your opponent, it look it rips a card out of their hand, or it takes a monster out of their hand and summons to your field. Uh, not once per turn on the pop, not once per turn on the summon. It's just kind of crazy. But uh, originally, I was playing three of this. I didn't want to play three because of the simple fact that I would open uh, like well, like the draws because I played the danger package, I would draw into it too many times and it didn't feel that rewarding because it kind of got stuck in my hand. Excuse me, but like overall two is fine. I wouldn't play any less or any more in the current build. Uh, another card that I played two of is Silva. Silva's just really good. Uh, now once per turn, if it gets discarded, it'll summon itself. And then if it gets discarded by your opponent's effect, It'll make them put two cards, exactly two cards from their hand to the bottom of the deck. They get to choose though. Uh, it was really good. I had one, this, I think this got banished at one point, but I had the second one in the deck, so it was fine. Or I had to banish it myself to, to resolve. I would also like to apologize in offense for any misplays that I did while I was filming these games. Uh, another OG broken card, uh, Snow. If it gets discarded, search the Dark World card. That's literally the only effect you really care about. Uh, you just get to get search. <clears throat> Next is the best one of the new cards. It's also, it's a not once per turn, but still a hard once per turn on when it gets banished. I also misread this card. Uh, forgot this card can only summon if it's banished if you control the Dark World card. Uh, that's the field spell, monster, etc., etc. But you discard it, search the gates, not once per turn. Very crazy. Um, helps out so much. And then the one Cerulee. This is how you hand look people uh, solely. It's because if it's discarded, it'll summon to your opponent's field. And then it has effect on summon. When it does it, uh, it makes your opponent discard a card. And then you discard uh, Silva. And then you just rip them a card. And then if, if you summon it to your field, you make them rip a card too. So there's ways to do it. I never used it on my field to rip a card. But essentially that's how I go. And the next engine in the deck, this is Dangerous. Three Nessie. Um, it's like 50-50. Like this card's actually, they're crazy. But they I got sniped so many times. Uh resolving like Des Nessie got sniped it got me to another danger that resolve uh I drew into another danger that one got sniped it was just it's rough I was able to still combo but I need to read the plays more uh double Mothman I think Mothman is one of the best ones it's a four I wish if this was a fiend it would have been better like Chupacabra but um this is let you draw and discard and I always get the triggers off because they get discarded uh, but like it's fun and the next is uh one Chupacabra this one's actually kind of bad you just want it for the draw and the body and it's a fiend and level four um so but like most of this card but i wouldn't play more than one in this uh, i think one is absolutely fine uh next is bigfoot bigfoot just one of was and the original list you want me to play two but i think one is just perfectly fine this also got sniped a lot too so it didn't ever matter uh this is only good because eight you can assist you with making exceed plays but other than that it's fine and then one suchinoko this got sniped revived itself that's rough and then one jackalope these are all fine self-explanatory and then to the best like normal summons of the deck in my opinion and which i think every list should probably play is the Jin and kin package these cards are absolutely insane i think pretty much i hand looped everyone once i resolve these cards uh well, my opponents actually start reading the cards and it's not on summon so they would impermit or veil it and i'm like well that's cool you only normal summon once that really matters and this is this you can still hand loop them even though they did it so 
Oh, but if you don't know what these cars do, it's, it's good that they like to, but um, what it is, <clears throat> you can activate the effect. Uh, you can special the opposite one from your deck or hand to your opponent's field. So essentially, Gin summons Kin, Kin summons Gin. So what this one does, if you use it to summon Kin to your opponent's field, it'll make you draw two, discard one. And it's a, a effect that your opponent activates. So that's crazy. You can trigger all your Dark Worlds, draw it in, turns on your their thrust and talents. And then this one, which is the one you don't want to lead with, it summons Gin, and Gin makes your opponent discard a card. Well, no, it makes you discard a card. So if you summon to your opponent, they discard a card. So it's essentially how you rip like, the last card of the hand if you open it that way. Uh, but that's literally about it. That's the only effects you care about. Uh, I, I misread Gin a lot. I thought it says your opponent discard a card, but like, no, you discard a card because it's your monster. And then next for the ones you don't want to, you don't want to draw this card, but it's okay if you do because you can, if it, it gets hit by a dangerous, perfect, is Zephyros and Zalamander. Zalamander is actually kind of broken. I opened this in a danger and it was like full combo. Uh, there are also fours too, which kind of comes up for your extra deck stuff. Uh, the next, the spells, the gate, I want to return, broken card. Um, I played this deck uh, Sunday, no, Saturday. Yeah, I think it was Saturday. And uh, it, this got ogre twice. It was terrible. Then I got imperm. I should have read the imperm, but I didn't. Uh, and then one of the best cards, Dark Corridor. Uh, I feel like two is fine. Uh, what's the reason playing one? One is not okay, because I want to see this card or like, you're onto it, so. Yeah, this is fine. If you don't want this is one of the new cards, it adds any Dark World monster and makes you discard a card. <clears throat> this is broken. But this is also a hard one to return. If it wasn't, oh my god, this deck would be uh, higher on the tier list. And then play one of the each of the Dark World cards, Arkaz and uh, Ascension. Since it's a fusion spell, they can get itself back the, the you discard a Dark World monster. And then this one, you discard a Dark World monster, make all Dark Worlds gain uh, attack each other level. And then as another effect, if a card is discarded at any time, you can activate the effect even during damage, uh, to discard a card and draw two cards. So it seems to can trigger a bunch of other stuff as well. But I only played one and one. I was playing two of this. I think two can be okay, but I think one is perfectly fine. The only reason I would like two is because you can turbo out your graphic fusion. But that, that that's still fine. Uh, two lower darkness. Um, it's a lure. Draw two. And a whole dark deck. One call by. Uh, call by is crazy. Um, and then triple talents. Uh, was well, essentially playing... I think one of this, but you can bounce around the ratios, but this is what I like. There was one game I had the talent so to stay in the game, and somewhere in the line I had two talents in my hand that were useless, but thank God it's for uh, Skull Dread, which you'll see in the extra deck. Extra deck, the reason I said the fours are important is because you can play Baguska and uh, Dugaris. Baguska is if you get shifted or drolled, you can end on this and hopefully you live. And Dugaris, it just helps you just keep playing because you can draw two, discard a card, trigger your Dark Worlds. That's literally it. Um, I should have read the play, but I didn't. I got impermed on this, and I, my turn was essentially skipped. Uh, the next Coach King, terrible card. I won't play this card ever again uh, because I don't ever end up with three eights on the board at all. It's always two, so this can be a different uh, rank eight. I was able to play the number one. Uh, I forgot what it does. It's like a nightmare unit. It's like a um, caster unicorn. Makes you lose your opponent's extra banished card. Uh, but yeah, this card never comes up. Won't play it in the future. And the two of the fusion this is really good. This card's really good. Um, you can use you use Grapha in any dark. And if you're using this, if you're summoning this off the ascension, you can discard the cards, which is really good. So if you have Grapha in a dark, you can get the Grapha effect. This turns into a pseudo Omni. Uh, wish this negated anything, but it doesn't. It's only monster effects, normal spells, and traps. That's it. And if it leaves the field by your opponent's card, it'll uh, special back your Grapha. So it puts it back in rotation if you banish it. Uh, security Dragon. These are just all part of the, the the combo to hand loop. So it's one Security Dragon. What it does is when it's cold link, it bounces a face-up monster once. While it's face-up on the field. Uh, cash get, this is on summon. Bounces everything that it points to. Um, SP, just for like follow-up. Uh, Muttcracker. Part of the combo, but don't. It's hard to not use this and get being locked and still be able to play. Which I think I have did that, and I think I misplayed one time by having to do it. Uh, Cerberus, Unicorn, Skull Dread, Access Code for game when you're trying to kill, Appaloosa, and Griffin. You can play against Tempa, stuff like that. The extra deck's kind of so there's nothing to fully explain in the extra deck. But next is side deck. Side deck, we go three Droll, three Lava Golem. Um, I wish I drew these cards against my uh, Fire King. 
Snake Eyes opponent, but I didn't. So I lost that game one. Uh, we play one uh, one gold uh, just for like being able to discard and pop cards. Just go in second. That's all. Uh, you side out a seal before it, so you just have more interactions. Uh, triple Dark Ruler. Um, just go in second. One Duster. Just same thing. Uh, I decided to play one Eradicator because you literally draw all your cards. Uh, there was a game against Tempi. Shout out to the Berman. Sorry we had to play each other. It was actually very uneventful for him. Uh, but I drew into this and I was able to eradicate him for spells and then control the game state. And that was me going second against Tempi because I handled him game one. Um, and then three skill drain. This is also the same thing. All your monsters are big, so you can just beat down your opponent, play old school Yu-Gi-Oh! because of that card. But if you liked it, had any comments, anything, uh, just uh, write me down below. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Appreciate you out. Uh, let me know what our next deck will be. It'll probably be Memento or Branded without the uh, puppet.